I haven't got all day. What kind of pizza you guys want? Uh, yeah. We'll have uh, one with everything but anchovies and uh, one with my all-time favorite topping, anchovies. Invalid selection. Yo, what are you talking about? I've never had it, but I've heard about it millions of times. And I've never seen anyone order it. Growing up as a kid, I've always heard that nobody likes anchovies on their pizza. Usually when I'd bring it up to a friend, they'd call me gross for it. But despite what the masses say, I've always wanted to try it out. So what exactly is the idea with anchovies on pizza? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? So I opened up DoorDash, read some reviews, and everything seems great, except for this on the Happy Camper in particular. I'm all set. I know exactly what I want and exactly what I'm gonna get. Well, for the most part. So I go to pay for my food, and you know, $11 isn't too bad for six slices. But the delivery fee bumped it up like $5 almost. Not only is it more spendier than I thought it would be, I'm also required to tip. And being a person who's used to traditional restaurants, tipping only comes when your waiter is good at their job. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> this doesn't sit right with me. Sing me happy birthday, and then hit the gritty. Please. Alright, I don't say bye. That's fine. Hey. Alright, come real quick. Can you see me happy birthday? Can you just like say it? Happy birthday. Thank you. And just like that, we're off to a great start. For some reason I thought it was a good idea to grind on the pizza, and as you can see, that didn't turn out very well. Mom. Mom, I love you. No more flips. No more <laughs> $2 tip for this guy not to sing me happy birthday or hit the gritty. If you want things done, you gotta do it yourself. So obviously I have my Marcos pizza, but before I eat it, I wanna slip into something a little more suitable. Get out the way, that girl my babe, rock on my hand, all this ain't the way. This shit beyond yellow like Let's run that back. This is the best thing I've ever smelled before. This definitely smells like fish, so I'm gonna assume that's what it is. Don't look at me while I'm doing this. Don't watch me. So what? Get out of here. Get out of here. You'll see. I'll send you the link to my video. Get out, get out of here. All right. This is what it kind of looks like. I'm going to assume these little brown pieces are the anchovies, right? It doesn't really look like fish to me, but it definitely smells like it. First bite. The saltiness of it all really throws you off. And since I'm a weird eater like that, I put lots of weird shit on my pizza. Like olives. People people don't like that. I'm also a pineapple pizza. I'm also a pineapple pizza fan, so if you don't like that, doors over there. There's actually <laughs> Oh. Step back and sing it for a father! I guess the point of this entire pizza, the anchovy, you can see the little designs of the fish muscle. The fish meat. Don't quote me on that. I'm gonna try it alone because I just ate it with pizza. Let's see how anchovies in general. Uh, they're not as good alone as they are with other flavors complementing it. So, anchovies in general, 5 out of 10. Anchovy pizza, 7 out of 10. I need it again. Let's get another opinion though. Mom, come here. Bon appetit. Mm. <laughs> the anchovies. What do you think? I'm here. You think I was going to tell you that first? What do you think about it? Salty. It does say something wrong. Let me actually do it. Yeah, I don't want the whole thing. Oh, come on, come on, really come on, out. come on. I don't want that. Just bite it. I don't want just it. Just bite it. Just bite it. She just spit out my $20 pizza. You can try to see the guys on the Yeah. You can bite out of it. Don't spit it out. Just spit it out. Just spit it out. Just spit it out. Just go fucking pizza. Would you rate it? 
Wow. Run that back room. Seven out of ten. So how exactly do I rate this pizza? Obviously, it'll fall in line with personal preferences, but within these preferences are pinpoint standards that a food item needs to meet. We can break these standards up into three terms. These terms are put together by me and will be explained accordingly. I like to call these terms the three T's. I got bored of the food review shit post. I'm not doing this anymore. Colton, I know you're watching this video. You still owe me $5, and I'm not gonna stop until I get my money. So what's it gonna be, man? What's it gonna be?